Hi, my name is Tony and in this video I'm going to solve a puzzle. I'll show you how to finish edges in minutes and uh, teach you how to go from this to this. Listen, I know you are excited to start working on this spectacular backpack, but before we do, let's get over the materials you need. I used six ounces vegetable tan leather for the main parts and um, four to five ounces of chrome tan leather for the eight folds here. Yes, eight of them. I know, there's gonna be at least a hundred holes to punch and stitch. At least. Anyway, moving on, you will obviously need some uh, metal hardware as well. Um, listed here. Quick, shameless plug, all the hardware I used is available in our hardware shop because I know how frustrating it is to go around multiple shops to get together everything you need. That's why I only use hardware available in our shop link below to make everything super easy to put together, all right? Everything you need in one place. You will also need a pattern because, uh, you know, you want to get exactly the same results I did and um, these pieces of paper will save you a lot of time for the price of, I don't know, a happy meal. And one more thing. This is gonna sound strange, but stay with me. You're also gonna need to know how you can use this piece of paper to form a bridge strong enough to hold this glass between these two pillars here. Now go download the pattern and uh, follow this very quick video where I show you how to print the pattern, how to use it to get all the leather pieces you need to make this of this backpack. This one.
Now that we have all the leather cut and all the stitching holes punched, let me show you how easy it can be to finish the edges and uh, make them all look nice and professional. Step one, use an edge bovella to, you know, what else? Bovell the edges, just like I'm doing here. Next, grab a permanent marker and uh, carefully color all those edges. Step three, apply Tokenol or Tokopro or whatever you have on the edges. And finally, use a burnisher to sink that filler in and give your edges that nice glossy finish everyone likes. Hand burnishing also works, but obviously it will take a little bit more effort. Note, this will work best on vegetable tan leather and if you use chrome tan leather uh, in your builds, simply apply edge paint on the edges, all right, much easier. Now that you know how to dress those edges super fast and super easy, let's continue our build. Let's get the front pocket piece and the gusset and stitch them together like so. Well done. Now we can attach uh, this buckle strap here using uh, rapid rivets. Next, let's stitch this whole thing to the front piece like so.
Now this pocket has a flap and the flap has a closing strap. So let's get those guys together forever using two more rivets. Before you attach the flap, it may be a good idea to uh, use water and shape the edge a little bit. This will help prevent cracks in leather and uh, once the water dries, it will also help keep the leather in uh, this shape. Then stitch it in place here like I'm about to do now. We can now attach the two closing straps of the main flap, all right, using the same type of rapid rivets. The place in between the straps here is also a great place for your maker's mark. What, well, you don't have one? You know what? Message me uh, at this email and um, we'll work together and make one for you like I have for many other customers because we do that. Don't forget the two front buckles here and here which um, they also have to be attached using the designated buckle straps. Moving on, let's take care of the back part of this phenomenon. There are two identical pieces making the back and uh, we need to stitch them together along the edge here. It's a great idea to add some glue in between the pieces and uh, if you do it like I am, after you finish stitching one side, you won't have to worry about lining the two pieces together. The stitching line will do that for you. You, you, you ever tried aligning two pieces of leather with glue on them? It's a nightmare.
once you're done with your stitching, there's a little bit of more edge finishing, all right? Because we want everything to look nice and perfect. We can now attach the various bits to the back and let's start with these two D-ring straps first. After you can attach the main flap here, the main closing flap. Now, there is one more D-ring strap and uh, it gets stitched right here, all right? Let me show you how to do that next.
great work. Next, there is this small tab here, which will help you grab the backpack easier when you need to. Also, you can use it to hang your backpack from, you know, stuff. Now, we have the front and the back ready. But what about the middle? By the way, did you solve my riddle yet? We will use the same principle here in constructing the gusset for our backpack. But before we do, before we do, get, get that camera close to me because this is important. There are eight of these strips right here and they are not the same, all right? Number one is bigger than number two which is bigger than number three, and so forth. You get the idea. The difference in size is not very big. So write down the number of each of these strips on the back of the letter as soon as you cut it out, all right? Next, watch me closely how they are stitched together because the order and the stitching line that they attach to is also very important. Once you get going, it will make sense. So, you know, have at it. I'm gonna go have a coffee and uh, let you work, all right? I'll be right back.
All done? I know. Whatever you're thinking about right now, I know. Make two of these. Two. Anyway, the next part is easy. The leftover line from strip eight gets attached to the front and the one on strip one gets attached to the back. Like I said, attach strip one to the back and you are done. What I love about this design is that you can have a very slim backpack that can expand and fit a lot of stuff inside. Oh yeah, it also looks amazing. But we are not done yet. Next, let me show you how to do the shoulder straps. Start by stitching these two large pieces together and form this uh, shoulder padding. Next, attach the closing buckle and then the swivel hooks at both ends.
pass the long strap through the shoulder pad, attach it to the buckle here, and you're good to go. If you use my pattern to make this backpack, you're probably experiencing a feeling of great satisfaction right now. You're welcome. I also thank you, yes, you Brian, and everyone else for watching this tutorial. And I will remind you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. You watched it this far, you got my plaque on the wall, who cares, it's free. Peace, I'm out. <laughs>